The use of armored cars as vehicles for the battlefield became a crucial aspect for armies preparing for World War II, spanning from 1939 to 1945. These vehicles typically had lightweight designs, excellent mobility, and the ability to traverse various terrains. They enabled ground commanders to gather enemy intelligence and positions from ground-based units. Additionally, these cars could serve roles such as providing local security, acting as escorts, and functioning in secondary battlefield capacities when required. During this era, A.B. Landsverk of Sweden recognized the demand for such designs and initiated the development of the Lynx armored car in 1937 to fulfill the requirements of the Danish army. The resulting design featured a lengthy car with large road wheels positioned at the far corners of the frame. The armor protection was intentionally minimal to maintain a light vehicle, yet the interior could accommodate six personnel. The engine, a 140-horsepower Scania Vabis gasoline engine, was centrally placed within the hull. This arrangement allowed for steering positions at both the front and back of the hull, enhancing mobility and tactical adaptability. As a result, a driver was situated at the front and another at the rear, each with a machine gunner by their side. The armor offered protection up to 13 mm. A two-person turret was mounted on the central portion of the vehicle to house the commander and gunner. This turret featured a 20 mm Madsen autocannon, and the Lynx armored car could support up to three machine guns in total to defend against threats, one facing forward, one facing rearward, and an additional coaxial machine gun mounted alongside the main gun barrel. The Lynx had the capability to achieve speeds of 70 km per hour and a range of 200 km. The vehicle's suspension spanned both axles, contributing to its effective cross-country performance. With steering functionality at both ends, the crew could control both axles for steering. An interesting feature was its ability to reach the same speeds in both forward and reverse, providing a tactical advantage for rapid retreat if necessary. The vehicle's dimensions included a length of 5.1 meters, a width of 2.28 meters, and a height of 2.2 meters. It weighed 7.8 tons. Although Denmark initially intended to acquire 18 Lynx cars, only three were received by April 1938, shortly before the official commencement of World War II in September 1939. Denmark was subsequently invaded in 1940 and quickly fell to the Germans. The remaining Lynx vehicles were taken on by the Swedish Army for local defense, equipped with the 40mm Bofors gun as the primary weapon, in case the conflict extended to its borders. To reinforce the existing Pansarbel fleet, an additional 30 units were ordered, resulting in a total production of 48 units before the war's conclusion. This supplementary batch was manufactured at the Volvo plant in 1940, leading to the designation Pansarbel M-40. While Pansarbel Lynx vehicles endured the war without participating in combat under the Swedish banner, 13 units were sent to the Dominican Republic in 1956, where they saw action in the Dominican Civil War of 1965 before eventually being decommissioned. 